In this part, we are going to uh, show an example for stability and we are going to confirm what we have learned in previous section. So uh, we had lots of formulas and uh, I understand it's kind of confusing, but in example, but in this example, we are going to understand everything and uh, uh, we were going to see all the steps we need to uh, find the stability for our amplifier. So uh, let's imagine a very simple example. And this is again from the David Pozar's book. Uh, so there is a transistor and uh, this transistor has the following scattering parameters. So S11, S12, S21, and S22 at the frequency of 1.9 GHz and the characteristic impedance of our network is Z0 is 50. So let's uh, start our steps. We said that first we are going to find the unconditional stability because we don't want to bother ourselves with conditions. So let's see uh, how we can find this. Uh, so we had two formulas we are going to do with uh, delta and k, uh, k factor. So uh, if you remember, we said that uh, we have to k, uh, the k has to be more than one and delta has to be less than one in order to have unconditional sta stability. So uh, let's little bit talk about this unconditional stability and see uh, why uh, what kind of actually we, uh, thing we have here so it means that uh, we uh, if we review the previous section if our uh, amplifier if our network is unconditionally stable it means that we can put any source and load impedance at the input and output of our amplifier and it's not going to uh, oscillate so it means that uh, for example uh, we want we want to have this amplifier and uh, so so at this uh, at the output we want to have like output matching and uh, this one is uh, here is going to be uh, the characteristic impedance maybe zo let's let's say 50 so this is output matching and this is our uh, amplifier and at the input we have uh, the input matching so again uh, at this uh, point we have a z0 so this is our uh, input matching. So uh, here we said that we are going to have ZL and here we are going to have ZS. So uh, we are talking about this system and in this system we want to see if we have a ZS at the input and ZL at the output of this amplifier, we want to assure that this amplifier is going to be stable with these uh, terminations. So that's why this starts from this point that's why before we designing these two matchings because here we want you say yeah we want to have a zo uh, matched to zs but we have to sure that if this amplifier sees the zs sees the input impedance is going to get uh, stable or not and the same at the output we are going to match the zl to zo again we have the same topic and same discussion here we want to see if this amplifier if this amplifier is terminated by ZL, is it going to be stable or not? That's why we have to do these steps. So uh, the first step here, we say that the uh, delta is less than one, okay, but the K is uh, not more than one. So we failed here. It means that our amplifier is not unconditionally stable. So after we passed uh, this step, we have to go to conditionally stable because we say, okay, it means that for, uh, f the amplifier is not going to be stable for all impedances. So we have to find the, the, that part from the Smith chart we talked to see for which impedances this amplifier is going to be get stable. And uh, since we are in that part, it means that we are actually having the conditional stability. So now our device is not uh, conditionally stable. We have to check the, st uh, the uh, conditional stability. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses, in RF system and IC design with pass status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.